Tinatato Kato, good evening. A former Gloria Vale member says residents are brainwashed from a young age, with women expected to cook, clean and sew for long hours without taking breaks. The allegations were made at an employment court hearing where it's being argued women there are employees, not volunteers, as the leadership has claimed. Investigations correspondent Michael Mora has this story. A show of unity from Gloria Vale. A busload in blue, current <laughs> residents at court to back the community's shepherds or leaders. We just want to voice what we believe and how we feel and not have other people trying to voice our voice for us. They were there to listen to a case all about the working conditions and life at Gloria Vale, painted by current residents as enjoyable and normal. Because it's my home and I love it. You do love it there? I do. Do you have to work hard? Don't we all? That's life. Oh, okay. I love working. But inside the courtroom, the reality of working life for women, according to lawyers for former residents, was put bluntly. This proceeding was aptly described by the Second Defence Council as dark, and the truth is it is dark. They are, as women's working conditions in New Zealand in 2022 and our submission scandalous. Brian Henry's representing six former residents who say women had no choice but to cook, clean or sew on a commercial scale for the 600 residents from a young age. They were under the control of the shepherds and they had no freedom. This case is all about whether those working at Gloria Vale are employees rather than volunteers. Former resident and one of the six taking the case against the leaders is Serenity Pilgrim. She described working from the age of seven and the role of women in the community. Women are supposed to cook, clean and do the washing and do household things and have kids. I'd definitely call it brainwashing because right from day one you grow up knowing you don't have the option to even think about what you want to do. She says she worked such long hours she often didn't have time to eat. I would definitely not call the work I did volunte voluntary because I didn't have any other choice. That's because she says the leaders controlled everything. Overseeing shepherd Howard Temple will give evidence in the case. Yeah, I would rather not comment now. However, another leader told Newsub the collection of current residents turned up in a show of togetherness. Leader Peter Righteous told me that residents are here to support Gloria Vale's leaders and to meet Gloria Vale's lawyers for the first time. He said that this is an important case and they don't want to be seen to be ignoring it. Gloria Vale denies the allegations of abuse and exploitation and will be calling its own witnesses who will claim former residents have waged a campaign against the community. They will say that the plaintiff's evidence has been systemically cherry-picked and exaggerated to present the darkest possible image of Gloria Vale. Do you think the leadership at Gloria Vale care for its people, the residents there? Oh yes, absolutely. The most caring people that I've ever met. But that claim is strongly rejected by those taking this case, who say their only purpose inside was to serve and obey. Oh, kia ora, Michael. What else did the witness Serenity Pilgrim have to say today? Well, she said at Gloria Vale you had no choice but to work and even if you were sick you're expected to suck it up and get on with the day. Now she said she often didn't eat proper meals because of how busy she was with cleaning and when she left Gloria Vale she actually put on 15 kilograms. Now this case Sam is expected to last for four weeks and lawyer Brian Henry says there will be more damning evidence to come including claims that residents who refused to work had food withheld from them as punishment Sam. Our investigations correspondent Michael Morrow, their life from Christchurch. Naomi, Michael.